my name is Lisa McGinley from Square One Training. I'm going to introduce you to one of my favourite features in Excel, which is VLOOKUP. I've been training in Excel for about, uh, well, spreadsheets for about 30 years, and my company has been going for 20, so we do a lot of Excel training, and I hope you enjoy this session. Okay, if we have a look at this uh, scenario of VLOOKUPs and the way we're going to do it, what I have is I have a spreadsheet which has, at the moment, uh, it has team codes that are all unique about the team of members in a department. They're not in any particular order, so they're not in alphabetical order, they're randomly scattered down, but what they are is they're in the left hand side of the data that's there. I have another spreadsheet which is my sales commission spreadsheet and what I would like to do is I would like it to automatically type the name of the person who's the sales manager of that team without me doing it randomly myself. Now for the VLOOKUP I'm going to do it with a trick slightly different than other people have probably shown you um, and I'm not going to use a wizard. So it's where you want the answer you type equals V lookup. Doesn't matter if it's uppercase or lowercase. And then once you've done that, you type a bracket. Okay? It will then come up with a wizard saying what is the value that you'd like to look up. You see it's a lookup value. So the lookup value that I would like to look up is that code there, because that's the code that is on the other database. When you've done that, you press F4 on your keyboard. And when you press F4, that will lock the cell. And if you repeat this and press it again, it will lock the row. And if you press it one more time, it will lock the column. And this is the trick, or one of them, that I'd like to do. By locking that column, it means that when I copy this formula across, it will still remain and look at D2. If I don't lock it, it would look at E2. So I've fixed it so it's still. When I have done that, you type a comma. That will then take you to the next block of information and that says table array. That means where is the database that I want to look up and find that information on. So for that, you flick to the other spreadsheet and you go to the other spreadsheet, which for this case is my data one. And I'm going to highlight in the very corner between A and 1 to say highlight that database range. Okay, once you have done that, you type a comma. It then says column index number. And this is where, if you've gone on a standard Excel training course, they will tell you to type a 2 in. Because you want the sales manager, and this is column 2, they'll get you to type a 2. I'm, however, going to show you a little trick I've learned by typing this. Column, bracket, and then you say, I want to return what is in that column. B, and I want you to start looking in row 1. So you're going to go column B1, and then you are going to put a bracket on it. So look at anything and return what's in that column. When you have then done that, again, you type a comma, and then on the end, it's asking you if you want a true match, um, where you exact match where you put false in, or whether you want a true, which is approximate. So I'm going to put on the end of this false because my data needs to be an exact match. I don't want it to return somebody else's team code. Okay, when you have done that, you can press enter if you would like to. You don't need to put the bracket on the end. And it will say, do you want me to correct this because I, you didn't put a bracket? You can just say yes to that. And that will return the name of the person who's the sales manager for you. 
Now I asked you, um, or I mentioned to you earlier, that rather than type a 2 or a 3, which is a lot of trainers would get you to do, I asked you to put the word column B1 there. And this is why. If I now take that corner there, pull it across, as far out as there, you will see it will automatically then work out where they are, what location, what phone number, etc., or any other data you have. And once you have done that, you simply double click and that will fill the information in. And that is a VLOOKUP. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.